You guys have been asking for a trophy launch tour for a while. And here it is. This is how my trophy launch looks at the very beginning of 2021. First, when we enter, we have probably two of my favorite trophies. Obviously, my melanistic OG Whitetail. I am really happy with that guy. I'm going to be linking the videos to some of the trophies down below if you want to check them out after the tour itself. He is matched up with a uh, piebald 852 scoring gold and a thousand scoring Trurag Whitetail. Over here, we have the melanistic fallow deer with his um, gold scoring companion, the uh, albino, and a uh, diamond scoring fallow deer. I think that's like even the OG rack as well, but uh, the albino is a gold scoring one too. Down here in the bar area, well bar one as we like to call it, we got some uh, melanistic European rabbits and a uh, female albino puma. Over here, I thought it was a good place to uh, place a bald leucistic goose on the counter. Got two different true rack axes deer up there. Got the different gray wolf. Have a egg white and a melanistic. Over here we have a diamond and a red brown. And then we have the OG max score mule deer. Right next to um, touching tips guy. As uh, we've had in a recent video. And a random roe deer diamond right there. Over here. Just have a leucistic and a melanistic European rabbit. Those have actually uh, gotten quite a few spots in my lodge. Got a grey goose. I mean, that kind of fits in the bar area, right? And my diamond white-tailed jack rabbit. But those two multimons right there, I am super proud of those. Up there, have a diamond melanistic axis deer. Obviously from the era where they were a lot of them. Got a uh, red deer and another red deer and a huge male gray cape buffalo up there we have two diamond water buffaloes as well over there that's a piebald diamond axis deer in here is another one of uh, my really really i'm very happy with this trophy as well our og diamond roswald elk you can see the um true reg ones behind him if we do like this and honestly they are nowhere near as cool as this guy right here. So he's actually gotten a full stand mount. Uh, ducks and such you see in the lodge. Either they're rare or they're diamond. I'm not really going to be spending too much time on them. Right here, another diamond white-tailed jackrabbit. This guy, a 395.4 Roseweld elk. That guy over there is a 394.1. So uh, quite similar sizes. My only Rocky Mountain elk diamond in the lodge. I have actually shot two. I have no idea where the other one has went. Might have forgot to taxidermize it. Up here, got a uh, 951. I think this was probably one of my first true rag diamond white tails. And uh, there's some black tail <laughs> diamonds as well. I actually haven't put up nearly any of my uh, black tail diamonds. I, they just don't look that impressive. However, there is one that we're going to go and take a look at in a moment. This guy right here has a cool story to him. The game actually cheated me out of a thousand scoring Turek Whitetail. He would have scored a thousand, but I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, the consecutive harvest dropped off and uh, that was a real sad boy moment. Yeah, that was a thing back in the days. Got my albino white-tailed jackrabbit. I'm super happy with that guy. And um, right there, we have a pretty big albino mule deer next to a albino red deer. Down here, we have three of the uh, ibex diamonds. And um, yeah, I'm actually missing a southeastern Spanish ibex. I need to get one of those at a, some point so we can make the uh, Grand Slam have my huge male white feral goat and an albino lynx. My only rare lynx. That guy right there, just a Roswald elk, albino. Thought he was uh, kind of cool. Over here, have a melanistic white-tailed deer and a piebald. Pretty big one. That's a gold scoring one as well. And then we're getting to the whole way. This side stride jackal, I don't know. Melanistic ones, they look super cute. I have a few of those up. My uh, diamond fox has uh, got a place right here. Up here, we have a 977 Iberian mouflon. And uh, over there, a 182.8. And they look pretty 
<laughs> evenly big, honestly. Up here, that's a OG rack. Diamond axis there. Let's take a look with this one compared to this one. I, I don't know. Got some uh, diamond black box, a, a melanistic puma, a uh, European rabbit diamond. And another OG axis deer right there. <laughs> a true rag one. They just look, uh, they, I don't know. My only diamond scrub hair, if I am not mistaken. And of course, this guy. One of my favorite multi-mounts, not gonna lie. I am really happy with that. Melanistic female and a, uh, I think it's a level 7 piebald male. That's, that's cool stuff. Got a male and a female diamond games box, a few fallow deers, and huge albino moose. He was um, a little bit short of diamond, unfortunately, because um, if you pay attention to his rack, that thing right there is missing. These guys, I don't really think they need any introductions, do they? Probably the ultimate favorite African multi-mount. Double albino lions which um, also leads us down to the lion hallway all of these ones are diamonds all of these ones well this guy right here is a dark brown down here we have a blonde have uh, two diamond kudus and a two diamond black box up there that's actually a diamond gold wildebeest and a big rack og wildebeest as well with the uh, og score and right here we have a wild boar with a uh, red a brown warthog next to him. In here, another pretty cool multi-mount. The reason I feel this one is cool, first of all, piebald female, diamond male, but just try to pay attention to the difference in this guy's antlers. This over here looks so small compared to the other side, but he did score diamond, so he got up in here. Got more fallow deer diamonds, have some albino besiet and a uh, regular besiet diamond. And this, that's the OG big rack. Diamond red deer. OG diamond moose and huge 999 scoring plain spison right here. Up here we do have even more caribou and plain spison and moose. And yeah, it's, I don't know. At some point, I really want to try to get something sorted a little more than how it is now. Uh, these kind of rooms here is basically just throwaway rooms for diamonds and rares that I didn't really find spots for in the lodge. Just quickly gonna scroll over them. You can, of course, just pause the video if there is anything you want to have a uh, bigger look at. Uh, I'll find a wild boar. I actually shot this one right in the face. Uh, took him down with a brain shot, if uh, I remember correct, back in the days. And uh, yeah, <laughs> turned out to be a good video. This here, 990 and 440, 955. But that guy right here. I'm actually kind of sad that I haven't found a spot for him out or her out in the actual lodge. It is the female black gold wild boar. That's pretty sick. I'm happy that there is like a room in here where I did find a spot for him or her in the... In the end, I've been trying. I've been spending so much time trying to get this stuff up and look just somewhat decent for you guys. I have no idea how long this video is going to be. Thousand scoring male mallard. OG small rag diamond. OG big rag diamond. Over there, have a 988 spring buck. A 953 OG roe deer. Just look how they looked in uh, back in the old days. And then we have this guy over here. It was a true rag one. That's a lot bigger that guy's a thousand scoring spring buck and uh well have a thousand scoring moves as well have the harlequin duck female albino right here next to a melanistic female mallard that just looks cool i i like that that guy's a 291.3 in here is this is um probably one of my better areas of the lodge Got the melanistic albino and diamond kudu on both sides there. I ah, forgot to throw up some weapons there. I've been, really been trying, guys. A dark brown male gold lion. And, of course, my only crowned wildebeest that I have gotten post the large era. Here we have a few of the different grey wolves and uh, Iberian wolves. There's a diamond um, in each of them up there have a pretty decently funny numbered <laughs> dilute mule deer is my 420 mule deer there's, there's just no way about it 
got uh, another red deer and a pretty decent sized mule deer piebald right there. Female. No, that's actually not a female. That's a male albino sidetrack jackal. And once again, you see the melanistic one. I just think this gives it a pretty cool look with the two different ones right here. Down here, have my reindeer multi mount with a thousand scoring as uh, the main attraction. Have a melanistic one and a, I think it's just a regular 992 diamond on the back side. This guy is the only animal that I've shot this year that has made it into this lodge. And I think what I'm going to do, I might make like a uh, 2021 lodge and only take like the very best of the best of the best and put into this lodge. No matter what I get for the rest of the year, this one is definitely going to be one of my better trophies. I can guarantee you that. I am so happy with him. Almost 100 scoring mountain goat. He looks so cool. Here you have uh, another royalty mount. Again, only rares both of them are dark browns this lodge guys has taken quite a while to uh, get to where we're at now this here it's kind of cool male albino male melanistic both gold scoring right it's it's a pretty sick multi mount in my opinion here we once again have a uh, multi mount that's unfortunately not a diamond only a 940 it's a big one though and a blonde female, a dark brown female, and a dark brown male lion. I, I'm i pretty happy with that. I would have wanted the uh, blonde one to be albino, but uh, that's something for future videos, I'm sure. Up here, I figured we needed a little bit of water buffaloes going on. Have a uh, diamond, a albino, and a diamond. This is actually also a pretty sick multi-mount. Got a, a melanistic, a male plains bison with a red brown female and an egg white male and uh, my only diamond black bear in the lodge, if I'm not mistaken. Let's move on to another one of these kind of throwaway rooms where um, they're just not cool enough to really make it into the lodge. But uh, they definitely deserve an honorable mention. Over here, more black buck. And uh, we have a pie vault and an albino roe deer. They're kind of cool. I, I was... Wondering if I should have put these where the uh, sidetrack jackals is in the other room in there. But uh, they made it in here. Got some cape buffalo and yeah. Just a little bit of different stuff. Just quickly hover over it once again. If there's anything you really want to be paying attention to. Then uh, you just pause the video. I actually have a diamond scoring coyote in here. I didn't really find a spot for him out in the open i was considering and i might still do that moving him around for the in one next to, to the red fox in the hallway i'm not sure Let's see about that that's a huge scoring male 515 uh leucistic another diamond albino and some ducks over here once again throwaway room just random diamonds of sorts and uh yeah Tons of guns. I've really been trying. <laughs> In here. This is like our moose alley. 298. Piebald. 955. Albino. 293.4. And uh, 994 common scoring goose. Another brown hybrid. And that guy. 978. Here we have a little bit of the Iberian wolves. That's another Rosewald Elk Albino Mountain Goat. And pretty decent sized diamond. This room was also just a little bit of a miss and match. I didn't want to show you that yet. God damn it. Anyway. Uh, wonky Rosewald Elk True Rack. I, yeah. I don't know what to think about that. <laughs> it is what it is. Got a thousand scoring Iberian Mouflon. More Diamond Reindeer and a Caribou. Uh, I think. Yeah. That's the... Uh, Another one with the OG score. It's a pretty decent looking one. Uh, pretty decent size looking melanistic caribou. Different ducks here again. Brown hybrid, uh, melanistic and piebald. And of course, another one of the really cool multi mounts. That's really, I like this one. When, when you can get the uh, black being the uh, evil trying to take down the big white albino Roosevelt. I find that really cool. Got a turkey multi-mount with a leucistic female and two diamond males. 
And my huge male Sika deer has made it uh, to a nice little platform down here. He looks really cute. Got a brown hybrid male and another plain spice and diamond and black box. And uh, yeah, I think that is about it. As um, I said, there is like one thing that I am considering. And I think we're just going to do that to end this with because the coyote nearly needs this spot right here. It's, it's a constant trying to figure out what's going on in the lodge. And I'm, I'm going to be swapping out trophies as soon as I get something I feel is better suited for anywhere. But for the most part, it's just a big grind. I think I've probably spent like five hours on setting this stuff up for, for just this video. So honestly, it's, it's pretty extensive work. But um, it's finally gotten to a point where I felt comfortable showing you guys... And uh, I hope I didn't let you too much down. I know that some people might have uh, even better lodges than me. But in general, I've put probably 2,500 into this save game here. I have around 2,800 hours in total, I would imagine. But uh, it's it's really gotten somewhere. And when you put it all up like this, you really get to, to see how just how much it actually has paid off to play that much. Which one of all these multi-mounts or trophies in general has been your favorite? Let me know down in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to see what we're going to get in 2021. Thank you so very much for watching.